before making it to a moment like this. National party leaders have to do a lot of this. Great to see you guys. Great to see you guys. Journalists are there for every step and misstep of the Cross Canada campaign. But as the industry continues to lose revenue, fewer reporters, particularly from newspapers, are traveling with the leaders. In a bid to get more coverage, one party is offering reporters a ride on its leaders' tour at a dramatically lower price than previous campaigns. Uh, we have a great story to tell and we want to make sure that we get that story in front of Canadians in as many possible ways as we possibly can. To cover airfare, bus rides, Wi-Fi and office space, the Conservatives want to charge news outlets $11,500 per journalist for the duration of the campaign. The NDP says it will charge journalists $45,000. The Liberals are still working on their number. The Conservatives say they don't want the low price to attract fringe outlets and advocacy groups, including the ultra-right-wing, ultra-controversial website The Rebel, will not be granted accreditation on the leaders' tour. Conservative sources say The Rebel would be a distraction. I don't think a, a cut rate or a low bulb price is going to actually result in any kind of more favourable coverage. This former NDP strategist says she understands wanting more coverage, but has concerns the Conservatives may be subsidizing travel for journalists. Elections Canada says it can't track whether parties are over or under charging news outlets. There's no way for Elections Canada to determine that because the campaign reports they submit are not to that level of granular detail. The Conservatives insist this is not subsidized travel, saying the price is what it would be for a journalist to follow the tour in the most obvious and economic way possible. It'll be up to the individual news organizations as to whether they get on board. A spokesperson for CBC News says that it's looking into the price discrepancy and will not have any party subsidize its costs. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.